So this is the form we discretize in finite volume. And uh, in finite volume, mostly we deal with uh, uh, a mesh that is uh, either, let's say we have a Cartesian, uh, we have a unstructured mesh and the most uh, typical component in unstructured mesh is a, a, a tetrahedron, right? Tetrahedron, right? So uh, if you look at a tetrahedron, uh, it's, it's relatively simple because this uh, partial omega, so if this is omega, partial omega has just the four sides, right? So this is one component of partial omega, partial omega, we have another partial omega, and of course the fourth one is the front surface. So basically we have four components of the partial omega and the flux has to be integrated over these four components. Okay, uh, so basically the DDT of the total amount of stuff, which is actually the size of the volume, right? The size of the volume or the volume of the volume, right? Or I can just call it uh, V, V being the volume times my U bar. That's the average solution in the volume, which is the unknown, which is the discretized uh, form of the function in finite volume. Then plus a summation over the interfaces surrounding surrounding this omega, right? So in this case, I'm gonna be uh, integrating, I'm gonna be summing over four distinct interfaces. And the F on the interface is actually the thing I have to approximate in finite volume, right? And that is again equal to V times S bar, the average amount of uh, uh, source on, in, in this volume. Again, this is something I can probably just uh, approximate the uh, S bar is usually just uh, approximated as the S, the source function evaluated on the U bar on the average. Okay, so essentially uh, the most uh, difficult part is uh, to approximate this. I put a hat because usually hat means the numerical or approximate uh, flux. And uh, this interface flux, uh, uh, for scalar equations, it's actually pretty simple. You can either just uh, take the average or take the upwind. And uh, for uh, general equations, there is actually a pretty complicated uh, uh, way and uh, different for different equation of computing the interface flux. And uh, uh, the terminology for computing the interface flux is called a Riemann solver. This is computed uh, using the U bar on both sides of the interface. Using a so-called the uh, Riemann solver. It's called a Riemann solver because uh, it is really solves the so-called uh, Riemann problem, right? And the Riemann problem is basically saying that, okay, I have a Discontinuity. I know what is the left state on my discontinuity. I know what is the right state in my discontinuity. And the Riemann problem is to figure out what is the flux that happens across that discontinuity. And this is exactly the problem we are solving here, right? We know what's the state on the left because we know what is the volume average uh, on one side of the interface. We also know what is the volume average on the other side of the interface. We just need to figure out what is the flux across the interface right now. So that's the Riemann problem, and the Riemann solver solves this problem. It's a, it's a, the solver usually is a little bit different for different equations, but for most the commonly solved equations, for example, in gas dynamics, uh, we have a, a very, we have constructed a very good, a very efficient Riemann solvers uh, for 
a lot of problems. All right, that's for finite uh, uh, volume. Uh, any questions for now? Okay.